Hey guys, Reptiles250 here, and today I am getting back at you with a, another update on the uh, White Street Frogs setup. Um, so first of all, we have the Exoterra 18x18x24 18 by 18 by still, and um, just right off the bat, let me say that this spot right here, it was from a failed idea, but it is no harm to the uh, frogs. Um, it won't hurt them or it's not poisonous or anything like that so basically what I did is changed it up a little bit took out the water feature right there because it uh, I knew that this would happen it was causing mold and I'm going to be saving up to be able to get um, a little filter for inside of the tank um, and I was hoping that that would work but um right on top here this is just a little idea that I had um, from right here, and this is what came off. Um, so right here, I had this little uh, waterfall idea that I was going to do where I um, painted it and made it look like a waterfall so that the frogs could just sit on it and bask and whatnot. And um, this water jug up here actually ran down, went off it, and went into the water dish right there. Um, I still have the two air plants. They are growing phenomenally. Um, this guy is getting pretty tall. Um, he's hopefully going to be able to grow a little bit more. I'm hoping for about two more inches, maybe. Um, then over here, same thing, except for this guy is, uh, he's just very amazing. Why this one's bent, sort of, is because I had him growing over here in the corner, so he was trying to grow up towards the light a little more. Um, and I still have a bamboo and that house plant. They're just in a different location now, not in there. Uh, they're still growing great. The lighting is perfect for them. This one is, as you can see, growing towards that light more. Um, and yeah, so we just have them in this little, like, thing that you could have around your house, little vase. Um, and then. We moved the sticks around so that they could be more kind of in the mid-zone lighting and still have a spot where they could go to high lighting. Um, and right here, I just kind of, like, put some wood on top of the little, uh, not sure, the hide right there. And in the back right there, I am going to clean it out pretty soon, but uh, that is the water dish in the back so all they can hide while they're taking baths and whatnot. And, um, let's go ahead and actually get to the frogs this time, because last time we, uh, couldn't see them, so we'll go ahead and grab Leela. She's the girl of the couple. And they have previously mated. They will be laying their eggs pretty soon. So here she is. This is Leela. She's a little bit dirty right now because she probably just finished up um, with playing down as it is early in the morning. And they are nocturnal. So um, go ahead and let her go back to her spot. She is one pretty frog right now. I could probably show you that she is this very nice kind of light blue, greenish color. She is just one of the prettiest girls I've ever seen. And um, as you can see right now, that little dark spot, it's from the being towards the light. Uh, what happens when they're next to the UVB lamp is that it actually can add colors and if they're surprisingly dark it makes them light and if they're light it makes them dark it's very confusing how that works but um yeah this is basically my white street frog setup and uh thank you guys for watching and um i will see you later